Section 11.3, measurement of the reversible cell potential. The cell potential measured under reversible conditions is called electromotive force. And this electromotive force is related to the Gibbs energy change of the reaction. Let me give you another example regarding the reversible conditions. Uh, when we are looking at a reversible expansion or compression of a gas, P external is equal to P. That's the condition for a reversible process. However, for the gas to expand, P has to be greater than P external. To compress the gas, P external has to be greater than P. So P and P external are different. However, the difference is infinitesimal. To ensure this process is a reversible process. Similarly, in this case, we need to make sure the overall measurable voltage is minimal. A infinitesimal amount of voltage change in the opposite direction can reverse the direction of the electric current. Of course, this electric current should be approaching zero as well. And in this case, we say the cell chemical potential is electromotive force, and then we can use the Nernst equation. The Gibbs energy change of the reaction is negative NFE. Uh, what if the electrochemical cell is operated under irreversible conditions? Well, in this case, the entropy of the newer increases.